हाई व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल दिस इज किशोर पालवर्सा प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल टिल नाउ एनी वन नॉट सब्सक्राइब ओके इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑलरेडी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एच वी डी सी ट्रांसफर्म सिस्टम एज वेल एज वेरियस टेरनल इक्विपमेंट ऑफ एच वी डी सी ट्रांसफर्म सिस्टम आल दो थिंग्स वी आर ब्रीफली डिस्कसिंग इन द प्रीवियस सेशन क्लास नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बैक टू बैक एच वी डी सी कपलिंग सिस्टम ओके बैक टू बैक एच वी डी सी कपलिंग सिस्टम वाट इज द मीन इट सेल्फ बैक टू बैक एच वी डी सी कपलिंग सिस्टम मीन्स हियर हियर वी आर यूजिंग बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वर्ट स्टेशन वन स्टेशन एक्सेज है लाइक ए रेक्टिफर स्टेशन एंड इनदर स्टेशन एक्सेज है लाइक ए इनवर्ट स्टेशन ओके सो कम इन टू दियर If you are under this diagram, you can clearly understand one thing. Okay, so this is actually like a rectifier station. In the previous session, already we are discussing. So according to the connection of so thyristor valves, simply we can judge that is like a rectifier station. According to the symbolic representation, here the total converter station may be contains to the totally twelve thyristors. Okay, okay. So twelve thyristors means itself, which is generating to the Twelve pulses. Okay, means by each thyristor may be contains generating to the one pulse. Okay, here may be contains twelve thyristors. So that means which is generating to the twelve pulses. Okay, so here total six thyristors which is connected by the three phase transformer here. Three phase transformer here. Okay, and also these six thyristors which is connected to the another three phase transformer also here. Okay, so here the R phase of the transformer which is connected to the R phase of the converter station, as well as the V phase of the transformer, which is connected to the V phase of the converter station, as well as the B phase of the transformer, which is connected to the so B phase of the converter station. So like this, we have to connect into the here. So R to R and V phase to V phase, as well as B phase to B phase. Like this, we have to connect into the from the particular three phase transformer to so total. converter station here okay and also coming to the this transformer also here the transformer r phase which is connected to the so r phase of the converter station as well as v phase which is connected to the v phase of the converter station as well as the b phase of the transformer which is connected to the so b phase of the particular converter station like this we have to connecting so so according to this connection so this is like a totally we can simply called as like a 12 pulse converter unit okay this is called as totally 12 pulse converter unit okay and also coming to the inner side of the inverter station okay so if you are at this according to the so connection of thyristor valves simply we can say that this is like a inverter station this is actually a, like a inverter station okay here also the total thyristors which is connected to the so individual three phase transformers okay here here the r phase of the transformer which is connected to the r phase of the converter station as well as the v phase which is connected to the v phase of the converter station as well as the b phase of the transformer which is connected to the b phase of the converter station okay so like this connecting here as well as so coming to the inner transformer here so the r phase of three phase transformer which is connected to the R phase of the converter station, as well as the V phase, which is connected to the V phase of the converter station, as well as the B phase, which is connected to the P phase of the converter station. Like this, we have to the total connection will be takes place here. Okay. So according to from this, both two six pulse converters, which is connected in series. So finally, we can simply say that so this converter station acts as a like a twelve pulse converter station. Okay. Here already you know that so how to the power which is conversion from one form of energy to another form of energy initially we are giving ac supply from the with the help of, of different types of various conventional sources okay so from that we are fed into the transformer so with the help of transformer we can step up the voltage okay that voltage which is given to the so particular rectifier station okay so with the help of rectifier station we can convert again from ac power which is converted into dc power again the dc power which is given to the throughout the entire dc link throughout the entire dc link and again the dc power which is given to the inverter station okay so that inverter station which is again which is converting from that dc power into ac power okay that ac power which is given to the again to the so both 
two three phase transformers okay so with the help of two three phase transformers again step up that voltage okay that voltage which is given to the load centers are also called as like a grid okay finally the total conversion of process will be takes place here like that okay here initially we are giving ac supply and finally we can get to the ac supply okay means we are converting the the total power from one form to another form what is the reason is there so here we can reduce the losses with the help of the conversion of power from form of energy to another form of energy okay and also here with the help of like this back to back coupling of two converter stations means both rectifier station as well as inverter station one of the main advantages there so that is the frequency can be matching between the various grids or a various types of generating station means here so from that particular ac system also so here also some particular frequency also there here and also this ac system also may be contains to the so particular so particular air frequency will be there between the two frequencies can be so matching with the help of this conversion with the help of this ac into dc and again dc to ac so by this conversion we can simply matching to the between the two different types of various frequencies of like a grids are like a so particular generating stations okay and also another drawback is there from this particular total entire station so the main drawback is so with the help of various different types of hvdc links the cost of the converter station is very high okay and also the initial cost means per unit power cost at initial condition is very high with the using of all those different types of hvdc links okay if you want to go for like a only ac transmission without using those type of links we can we can easily make it to the the initial per unit power cost is low without using any type of hvdc links in case of ac transmission system but if you want to go for like a hvdc links all those total converter station system so in this the per unit power cost is high at initial condition why because we are using here different types of various links so that is like a either monopolar link or bipolar link or homopolar link okay so all those different types of various links and advantages and disadvantages all those things learning the previous session okay so i think you are understood what i am saying so this is the today our class subscribers if you have any doubt please put on the comment box i will give you reply thank you one and all